Station Com Control, routing a message from Darth Maul. Put it through. No licenses today, Wrath. My time is short. Too many betrayers have attempted to seize power of late. Darth Malgus's men are finished, but the Dreadmasters endure. Since their relief from Belsavis, their madness has driven them to conquest. We slew one on the planet Darvanus, yet five remain. I take it something has changed. They were the Emperor's favored servants, yet idolized fear above the Empire. Now, we have found their fortress on Oricon, a remote moon. When the Emperor went silent, the Dreadmasters should have bowed to me. Now, they will have no choice. There is no loyalty in their heart. The Republic moved before we did, sending a full fleet to Oricon. Its our mother was undone by the Master's powers of fear and madness. Our task force followed. A rapid strike deployment led by one Lord Hargrave upon the insistence of Darth Victor. Hargrave is a blackguard and a sadist, but he has studied our foe. He believed that he and his acolytes could shield our task force from the Master's power. I've never heard of Hargrave. Where's he come from? What's he really capable of? He studied under Lord Silfar. Had he spent less time in his agony dungeon, he might have become a Darth long ago. I have heard nothing since Hargrave's ships arrived in System 12 hours ago. Either his forces were defeated, or Hargrave has betrayed us. Either way, the Dreadmasters will sense weakness and counterattack. I have no forces to spare. You represent our last chance to stop them. You presume I desire to mend your mistakes? But that is not my role. Challenge me before the Council if you wish. But turn away and Korriban itself may burn. Even you cannot slay the Master single-handedly. If you can reach Oricon, however, you may find some remnant of Hargrave's task force. If all else fails, send any warning you can of the Dreadmaster's strengths. Perhaps then we can limit our losses to mere sectors. Very well. Forward whatever data you have and await my word. what day I've had at 